What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Pan Pod, the podcast where we talk about literally anything, including gaming and Twitch news. Wow, I really almost did that. Okay, but uh, anyways, I'm Pan the Man, your host. Enjoy my me here today is my co-host, X-Man 3000. X-Man, how are you doing today, dude? I'm doing great. Um, yeah, Let's go! Kind of about everything, honestly. But we kind of base it around, you know, the Twitch stuff, the gaming stuff, because, you know, that's kind of how uh, most people know us for, you know? Cause, you yeah, know, it's actually like just anything we're with. into. Just anything we're really yeah, passionate it's about. it's kind of so. whatever, man. So, yeah. About us. So, mm-hmm. And news Ego as well. Andy. Ego yeah, Andy's, dude. Yeah. Gives us this gives us opportunity to talk about you know stuff that happens around the world. So podcast um, is literally the epitome of who asked because exactly. you didn't ask you well you, I guess you asked because you clicked on the podcast today but like it's literally just yeah. information on shit that you really don't need to care about because it's really not relevant unless it is I guess if it is relevant then exactly. God diddly dang it perfection. Yeah, eighty percent of the shit it really does not make a difference whether we talk about it or not. But some stuff is just interesting, so we do it anyways. And uh, yeah, that's facts. That's the pan pod for you. Yeah. So first topic, um, critically acclaimed, Alec Baldwin. He's an actor on the set oh, yeah, of a movie called Rust in New Mexico. He was given a fake prop gun. These are in quotation marks. Because uh-huh. he shot and killed his cinematographer dire- and, and injured his director because he thought that the rounds weren't live. But er, yeah, he thought they were fake rounds, but they were real rounds. And he killed a lady. And I'm, I'm not saying that he's a murderer because that's obviously an accident. And. If you want to like even like go more into it, dude, like seriously, oh my God, this is so crazy. Somebody could have just plotted to kill these people. Like the guy who actually handed Alec the gun. This could be like a whole like true crime story. <laughs> true like, crime. To, like to like literally set him up for literally killing somebody with his own hands. Yeah. What do you I, think about I it? Fucking, I, I honestly like. I seen this shit uh, like go down or like happen like all over social media, and I'm just like, how the fuck does something like that just happen? Especially like you know these guys are, you know, quote unquote professionals and shit. And like how do, how does something like that accidentally happen? That's just kind of crazy. Yeah, well, in all those years of movie making with guns, this is the first time that's happened. Really, that's hard to believe for me, and. I, I guess it's just really rare because, dude, that's heinous. Why would somebody, they have somebody real fucking rounds died. In the, in the, if it's a prop gun, it could take the real rounds. Like so based on the, the articles I've skimmed through, and this is not me taking, like, a educational stance here because I have not read up on it. I was not there. But apparently off screen... They would play around with the guns with live ammo. And apparently they either got the fake ammo mixed up with the live ammo or somebody intentionally or just forgot, if you want to play devil's advocate, if they just forgot to take the live ammo out. But still, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about that. It's kind of like... uh... I guess we'll leave it to the, the Sherlock Holmes of the world if I can figure that shit out. Leave it to the Redditors. But, uh, yeah, well, rip the movie, I guess. What is what is that movie? I, I mean, I, I've heard of the movie because of this whole incident, but yeah. other than that, I've never, I've never even fucking heard of this. Apparently, it's, it's like, like a... a game? <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I, think, I think it's on the movie set, Rust, but um, apparently it's going... I guess it's going to be delayed because uh, this is kind of a, it's a slight delay. A slight delay. Slight mishap happened on set. Um, yeah, Jesus fucking Christ. That is that's horrible. Fuck it. But yeah, I don't even know what the movie's going to be about. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, imagine, imagine being that guy right now. Alec Baldwin. Imagine being that guy. No. I was like, what? Well, imagine being... Okay. We can, we can get to that. We can get to that. But imagine being Alec Baldwin 
and thinking that you're like have a pistol and you're like shooting. And the the thing that first like shocked me is like how did he aim at his cinematographer to kill? Like how was how was how was she even in like the Yeah, it was more like in was the he way joking around like oh look well, at the gun or was So if you like think about it off? if you think about it in movies the camera is right next to you to get a good shot. And I'm thinking that his his gun his gun was like pointed towards the camera for a good shot. That's what I'm thinking. And then he shot it straight at wrong his good yeah, yeah, a good shot on that lady's heart or whatever, dude. So like Jesus. dude, that is too soon. Holy shit. Fuck. I need to <laughs> I need to back it up. We need to like we need to publish this podcast next week. Maybe in a month. I don't know. But, um, and then he, I mean, then he shot his director in the shoulder. So he shot multiple times. What the fuck, dude? How, does, how do you, how, how do you Miami, shoot multiple times? What the fuck going on in Miami, dude? Like, how do you shoot and kill somebody and be like, oh yeah, I'm going to take a second shot. I don't know, dude. Yeah. That's like a whole funny. thing that they need to figure out. This is like fresh. This is like yesterday. It's kind of, uh, so. I thought it was like, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like Ooh, a sussy I, Baca moment, but yeah. yeah. Well, holy fuck. Fuck. Um. Yeah. Well. Uh. Jesus. Directing movies is dangerous, I guess. I suppose. But so. yeah. Holy they shit. also found that they also found that guy that killed his girlfriend in Florida, or like where was it? No, it wasn't in Florida. It was like Wyoming. You know that guy? Uh, I forget his name, but. Uh, oh yeah, like, yeah. The whole fucking world loses their mind over that shit. He was like, found animal. dead, matching dental records. There was a body found dead, matching dental records to the guy, um, in a Florida like national park. He probably killed wow. himself because he's a pussy. Florida man. Yeah. Jesus. And like, well, dude, have you heard all like the the fucking um what is it? All the um. Uh, conspiracy theories surrounding it like dude there was a drone video of his parents in their garden and there was a okay so there's a drone above his parents house and it kind of looks like they're like giving something to like a hand in the garden but like what the fuck dude i don't know it's just so it's such a low res video and it's so like out there it's like do they literally have a bunker conspiracy type shit or what yeah dude like fucking mlg Illuminati 360 no scopes, Doritos, Mountain ah, Dew, yeah. fucking yeah, that was the a, 2004 starter pack. That was a depressing start. The, the whole, yep, yep the whole ordeal. Now, yep, everybody's dying. Um, that was really morbid. I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. Guys, Let's take it from the top. Now. What's up, guys? <laughs> yeah, take it from the top. All right, now getting the 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 juice. I mean, we juice. talked about this a while ago. McCree, though? What the fuck is up with that? <laughs> fucking, who's that, dude? Like, Cole Cassidy, man. A new name. Uh, yeah, so, those of y'all don't know, just a quick recap. Uh, Blizzard, Omega Lol, uh, Rip Bozo. <laughs> Omega Lol, Rip Bozo. Uh. Most people know at this point. So, um, the, the creative guy who was named, the guy who was, there was a guy who was named after McCree. And he was involved in that drama, and now they're changing McCree's name. And McCree, he was really fired for it. promoting toxic culture. Yeah, some shit like that. And uh, but yeah, he's like in McCree's like you know iconic name in Overwatch. Overwatch, pretty fucking huge game. Overwatch Two is coming out in a, in a while, and now they're changing his name to Cole Cassidy. Cole Cassidy, what Cole the Cole hell? First thing I thought of. And I looked up Cole Cassidy know. to try and figure out who it is. And I can't find who it is. Like, is it a real person or is it just not? Cole Cassidy is not like a shitty name, but I mean, ain't better. It's I. It's, it's I'm I. giving it a six. It could have been worse. Yeah. That's the way I'm looking at it. It could have been worse. So, um. Yeah. Hey, whatever, definitely. Whatever, I agree man. with that. But yeah, interesting. Anyways, fuck Overwatch. Worst game I've yeah, ever played in my life. Exactly, guys. It's horrible. I have like, you know, a couple hours on that probably. Um, fuck it. 
Fuck it. Speaking of games, I saw this like yesterday, and I and I saw like a pretty massive trailer for it, and I didn't even like. Um, <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck?" Uncharted. Have you ever gotten into those games? Uncharted. Uh, I've never played an Uncharted game. I think it's aren't they PlayStation yeah, they, exclusives? They're, yeah, they're, but they're yeah, there's PlayStation exclusives, and uh, I never really got deep into it, but uh, I figured I'd mention it. They're making a fucking movie off it. I think that's let's go. If you look at the trailer, it's pretty crazy i'm actually gonna watch it right now while we uh talk about it but it has mark Wahlberg and it has that one guy um what's his name spider-man dude guy's playing spider-man right now oh yeah tom Spider-Man. holland yeah tom holland so yeah that's kind of crazy it's kind of that's huge. awesome uncharted, what the heck uncharted or like people love those fucking games i never got like huge into it but i played it a little bit so for all y'all uncharted peeps out there that's pretty fucking epic playstation was in this fucking trailer and everything Damn. Wow, that's actually really cool. I love when they like try and branch out stuff like that, like make video games yeah. like more multimedia. I, I really like that stuff. Except when it's a shitty mobile game. Yeah. Like how yeah. many mobile games are the worst, dude? Like I, I can't even can you even name any off the top of your head that are just like brutal, horrible games? I don't even know. Honestly, no, honestly no. I can name they would, they would the honestly good, do some good weird games. Ones. There's decent ones out there, but then like what? there's a lot of them who like got went the shit out of time. Like Clash of Clans in his prime was good, but now it's just Clash like, of Clans is still good. I don't even care, dude. I play that shit. No, it, it, you can still sometimes. enjoy it now, but it's 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 like it's not, you know it doesn't hit the same. Um, kind of like how Fortnite went. Easy for game. you to say, dude. That shit hits, dude. When I get like my yeah, two go- right. dude. I, I have my army down to a science, dude. I got like two golems and I have like a bunch of hog riders that go after I have jump spells so I could go over the walls. And I, I got miners that get everything after all the hogs get through all the defenses, dude. It's three star every time, dude. There's actually this one game that I'm playing that I played a long ass time ago, Dead Trigger, just like a zombie game. It was such a like, I don't know. It, it's, um, it's an old ass game, and I fuck. I remember tryharding that shit on my like broken ass iPad in like fucking 2014. Ah, uh, classic times, man. <laughs> and, uh, Can you give us your best hog rider? No, <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. No. <laughs> have you? Oh my god, have you seen that? Have you seen that like pretty new like <laughs> video of a guy? Oh. Uh, it's the no, not Asian guy. Um, Spanish Mexican guy. Yeah, dude, this kid, yeah. <laughs> it's a video, it's a TikTok of this guy, he's like got his waves all tight and then he gets a comb through it, through the middle, yeah. and he's got like the hog rider, like, A-team, oh whatever God. that guy's name is, like, cut, and then he's like, he says some shit in Spanish, I forget what he says, but, and then he says, hog rider, it's so fucking good, dude, oh my Please. God, it's amazing, <laughs> it's the best video ever, dude. He made another oh one God. on this other guy, um, for fucking... For the wizard, I don't know if you ever seen that that one uh, Clash of Clans like live action thing where it's like the wizard takes off his hood and it's just a fucking huge afro. Nah, I haven't like, seen that. What? That's kind of epic. Yeah, I like he that. Made another one for that, and it was hella, uh, hella hilarious. But um, on some crazy shit, which is actually you know I think we talked about this like ten episodes ago. Like we heard a rumor about it, but now it's confirmed by themselves. Rockstar GTA Remastered Trilogy. That's yeah, which ones are they remastering though? It's like San Andreas, uh, Vice City, and uh, Liberty. No, um, uh, I believe GTA, GTA 4. 3. No, not 4. Three. San Andreas, all right. No, GTA 3. I'm pretty sure it's literally just called GTA 3. I think I'm watching the Brett. uh, Vice City, San Andreas. Yeah, and Grand Theft Auto 3. That's all. It's literally called Grand Theft Auto 3. It so like what's it about? It's, it was like the least popular one. They're I remastering the worst game. It's not It's not bad. I remember it was on the 360. But, um, you Did you play that? that? I've never even uh, seen it. Barely. It's like, oh, so they put okay. out like a 58, um, 58 second trailer. And it's number eight. It's got 5.6 million views. It came out yesterday. So, but if you look, if you look at the remastered, I mean... It's remastered, but it's like people are like, "Oh wow, it's not even that good." Six years for this, or eight years for this. It's like, yeah. Stupid. Um, Give me GTA Six. But honestly, three games in one for the remaster. 
It looks smooth. That doesn't sound too bad. It's not the re kind of remaster you would expect. You expect like I don't know. It it, it looked like it's gonna be like worth the money and it'll still be enjoyable. But I just feel like they could have gone like way further with it, yeah. But uh, yeah, I think it's still sick though. Fucking a trilogy. I love when games do that. I remember they did that for Assassin's Creed. Um, they got the the three Ezio games and fucking like put them together. And it was like pretty epic. And then like one bundle. Wait, and, really? Yeah. What What even Back is that Ezio? Um, he's like the he's he's the he's the fucking he's the assassin who's like from like uh, I don't even know I was almost said France but that's completely wrong the Italian dude man fuck but he's like one of the the, OG the gabagoo where yeah, the where, gabagoo people who played it they know what I'm talking about I I, I don't really know if, I forgot where where the fuck it's located but it's some like uh yeah he's Italian dude in Europe and shit and that's uh, cool were, like. Yeah, so GTA remastered, GTA Six, uh, mod check. Don't know, but uh, maybe one day we'll see. When I have, uh, when I have a prospering family with grandchildren, it will come out. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, and then I'll throw my life away. Exactly. Oh, great. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I can't go that high. My voice said no. Shot in with the hog rider, almost fucking choked. Yeah, dude. Um, good job, man. Yep. But yeah, thanks. People are people are basically saying, "Oh, fucking the people who mod the game can make better remasters." So I thought that was hilarious. Is it true? Uh, maybe I don't know, but yeah, hilarious. Absolutely fucking hilarious. Bro, modding communities make remasters already, dude. Like you have like, yeah. There's a modding community on GTA Four that like up the graphics to like GTA Five quality. Just like I know GTA, I, dude. I thought GTA Five graphics, the those shits are insane for its time. That's like twenty. Oh yeah, and, oh yeah. And that shit was like so good. Like and like, yeah, you go back to like twenty twelve. Let's see, I, I have a couple games. Yeah, I think GTA though is the game that really upped the standard for graphics for motherfuckers like hardcore though. What year is Gears of War? Gears of War. Gears of War has made my epic games. Oh my god, Fortnite! <gasps> it's meant to be. Do they have Gears of War Whoa. Battle Pass? I bet they do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this is the first one. I, dude, I started playing this recently. Get Gears of War 1. Because I've never played Gears of War and everybody tells me how good it is. Like, my brother has been telling me how good it is my entire life. And I've never played it. And Gears of War I, was I, one I started of those too recently. Games. I've only played at, like, friend's house and shit. Dude, you play half the watching. games you've ever played at a friend's house. I swear, to, I, dude, it's just how it was, man. It's just how it was, cause, cause think about it. Like back in the day when you were younger, right? It was, oh, it was actually fun to go to people's houses and play games. Nowadays, it's not like that no more. Because it's you could just like play it online and have a better experience. You don't have to play like split screen. Exactly. True. Split screen is AIDS. Yeah. Dude, like, what the fuck is the copyright on this shit? All my friends had Xboxes. I never did. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, I was always a PlayStation Andy. PlayStation Andy! Yeah! Uh, where is the copyright on this thing, dude? I have, like, a whole booklet talking about, like, the guns. It's actually cool. Yeah, oh. back when, back when what games the hell? were, like, fucking manuals Effort. in the game and shit. Yeah. In the cases. Yeah. This is fucking dope. Me, buy cases. Amazing. Yeah, dude, fuck. I, I used to buy all my shit pre-owned. Yeah, I bought a lot of fucking pre-owned shit. Yeah, me too. Like. Damn. Hey. I was looking at a $50 GameStop uh, price on like uh, it says new though it's not pre-owned I was like damn I'd be damned if I was buying a pre-owned game for 50 bucks fuck nah man hell pre nah pre-owned ones that had no cases that are just in the little like slide in ones Jesus. yeah a little sleeve little manila envelope yeah, yeah. I dude I have a lot of Wii games that are in those <laughs> I have a lot of fucking PS2 games like that really Oh my god, yeah. that's funny. For the, for the majority, I do have most of them still. 
Gears like of War the, came out in 2006. Okay, never mind then. It's not even comparable. Oh, wow. 2006. Yeah. Holy fuck. GTA. Goated. Goated. Goat mode. We'll GTA 6, man, give him another five years. Maybe. When's the maybe. next time that, uh... <laughs> when do you reckon that Rockstar is going to have its uh, Blizzard Activision controversy? Because you know they're getting down over there. You know they're getting what a little spicy. What is that supposed to be? I don't fucking know. Rockstar has some interesting games, dude. GTA is it's, it's interesting, dude. Like, I mean, GTA you can't tell me that... You can't tell me that Activision Blizzard was having a weird, like, a worse. Dude. <sighs> I don't even word this. Like, I feel it could be worse at Rockstar than an Activision Blizzard. Yeah, just because of the type of games they make. Yeah. That's what you mean, but fuck, man. I mean, most of the media already hates their fucking guts because, like, the crazy shit you can do in game. Most <laughs> like, parents. Most parents. Nah, but it's like the news, too. They try to paint that shit in, like, a bad light. Yeah, no. Like like literally everybody does. It's popular. like, oh, a video game is going to make your kid a serial murderer. It's like, dude. Which, well, to how many? Extent, it's it's not true. Not true, but it's not. <laughs> I, see, I see what they mean. I see what they're getting at from. Because, I mean, yeah, you probably shouldn't be playing. Well, it, okay, game. so here's the thing. If you're impressionable like that, and you're just an idiot, like a five-year-old, like... I'm pretty sure that GTA has influenced kids to take their mom's car for a joyride. Like an eight-year-old. <laughs> well, no, like, I, I swear I, to God, like, in yeah. the news, like, how, do you remember things like that? Like, videos of kids, oh, I, like, in like, like, news And those videos coverage? when they steal those school buses, and they're just, like, driving around town, and the cops are chasing They, they just do, like, the GTA thing. They open the door, they rip the guy out. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but they're, like, eight years old, so it doesn't work. I don't know, dude. That is crazy. I, I just oh remember, my God. stupid. I don't know why it's like a not a trend, but it's like a thing. Especially it used to happen a lot, um, where there's just like kids fucking stealing buses and driving them. I have never. Like, is that a devious lick? Pretty much. It was like before the devious lick days. It was before it. What, dude? Yeah, you got you got to see those videos. It's fucking hilarious. That does sound it's, pretty it's, funny. It's, it's, it's happened like more than once, though. That's the crazy part. Just kids stealing. Buses. I bet, dude. Like, kids are crazy. Kid steals bus. Out of pocket. Kid steals bus. Yeah, 11-year-old <laughs> takes police on high-speed chase and stolen school bus. Oh, my God. The fuck? That's fucking... That's golden. But, uh, yeah, well, that's enough uh, devious licks and shit like that. I already crazy. clickbaited my the title with that. Your new addiction. My new addiction. New world. New oh world. I think we've talked about this briefly here and there, but um, my boy Alpha HS Annie Alpha One. Oh my God, crazy Hunter. Most of y'all know him as. Um, he really wanted to get the game, and I was like, sure. So we got the game, and we've been playing it, and it's fucking actually pretty good. Uh, it's pretty addicting. It's pretty, I mean, basic. It's like your typical MMO shit. But, uh, I, you know, it's actually a game that I'm actually uh, enjoying. Because, you know, like I always say, oh, I haven't been playing video games lately. Uh, I'm a loser and all that. But, yeah, it's pretty, actually, it's pretty cool. Mm. It's very nice. And, um... What do you do? That's kind of... Yeah, that's, that's... You don't do nothing. You, uh... <laughs> you, like, do, like, the typical MMO shit. You know, level your guy up. The game is actually low-key kind of hard... But it's, it feels like fucking some on some Dark Souls shit, but then there's no lock-on. You can't lock on to enemies. It's kind of crazy. So you're kind of just, like, aiming your shit. Um, so that's kind of kind of weird. It's Why do you need a lock-on if it's a PC you know, game? Think about it. You know how you're lo when you lock on an enemy and you're, you have to hit, like, you know, you press your Q to attack or whatever and it gets you into yeah. motion, but then you, like, completely fucking miss? Yeah. That's, uh... That's the best. But, uh, yeah, it's, like, it's literally on some, like, segregation fucking 1920 evil shit, dude. The factions, holy shit, there's, like, three different factions. There's racism? It's, it's like, fac factionism. There you go. Factionism. It's, like, holy fuck. They Tribism. On, like, if you're Tribalism. not in a faction, they fucking hate on you. Exactly. Tribism. They fucking, like, if that's they a talk thing, so much shit. I doubt it is. Like, there's like a global chat. It's fucking. 
AIDS. It's ruthless. It's absolutely <laughs> ruthless. There's like yellow, purple, and uh, green, uh, and they all shit on you so hard. I chose green, which I don't know if it was the right choice, but it, all the other ones, like, I don't know. The yellow ones, some like, um, some religious Andes, the purple ones are some edgy knowledge guys, and then the green guys are just like, oh, fight freedom. Me, like, what the fuck? Strong. Um, but yeah, usually green or purple are the ones that are winning, and then yellow is just kind of left in the dust because you have to fight for territory. So every time someone loses a territory, the other side is just talking so much shit in global chat, and it's so AIDS. And uh, that actually and, sounds yeah. really fun. The hell, it, it, it is pretty fun, actually. But um, the leveling, you know, like most MMOs and shit, it's RPG type shit, it's uh, it's addicting, it's actually really fun to play. And there's like the way it works, too, you can kind of like it's not like, oh, you choose your class at the start, it's just kind of like whatever you level off is kind of where you go. So, the question is, how many trees have you chopped? How many trees? I don't know how many trees I have chopped, but my tree mastery, because you, you get a mastery for every skill. <laughs> I think my tree mastery, I think that's what, how you say it, the skill for it, I think it's like fucking 20 to, or like 25, which is pretty low. It's not like super high. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, that's, I, I like games like that where you do shit and like in the game and it goes towards a skill. I I'm getting like into that. RuneScape. It's over. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's an absolute shitter. So, Going to right <laughs> here's my question for you. Changing the topic. How? So, like, the podcast has not been doing well lately. We can <laughs> we can say this, okay? Yeah. My number one top recent videos in the first six days got thirty views in six days. It's the our favorite TikTokers podcast. Ah. With Addison Ray's big boobies on the title, the thumbnail. So, and in your face going, so what can we do to recreate oh. success? Uh, wait, it's gained how much in the past what? It, in the first six days, it had 30 views. Ah. And these days... Some of ours that we're uploading are getting 10 to 13. Who's the most popular hot chick right now? That's what, that's, that's what All right. I have to ask. Who is the most popular hot chick? Wait, did you hear about all that, that, that Valkyrie drama? Maybe we put her in a thumbnail. It's like makeup, shit. right? <laughs> yeah. Wait, okay, now we have to talk about it. Wait, we can put Valkyrie in the title? Wait. But she's more modest, isn't she? Nah, it doesn't even matter. We could just put her in the thumbnail doesn't anyway. Matter. It doesn't she's matter. It doesn't matter. I mean, what? She's a female and we're gamers. I just said that we have 14 views. Who's going to cancel us? Plus, oh, we didn't even say one. anything bad. It's just it's just horrible clickbaiting, dude. Yeah, yes, it, I, that's, that's, it's a necessary evil. It hurts. Guys, we're down tremendous. I hate womanizing, yeah. okay? This is, this is on the... Uh, it's going this to be this is on record. Market. I hate womanizing for thumbnails, but if it works, god it. damn it, it works. Okay. And if I put X Men right next to it, it's um non it's uh Creative Commons. We uh get permission to use it to because it's a uh, parodying whatever the fuck that happened, so uh it's not a copyright, so Paul Unless I get struck down by uh, Amaranth for all these titles of making them better, so uh, we'll we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens when we get big. Well, I mean, one around, one about her, right? Uh, it's either one or two. Let's go. Th I'm gonna go through the titles. Let's see. Why I hate Fortnite? Our favorite waifus. X Men's illegal on. <laughs> <Content streamers. laughs> Ghost Milkies. The the MLK of Skyrim. Oh, the classic. The classic. School trends. Mobile gaming is weird. Dream cheated. Oh, I forgot about him. XQC Dream. is back. He was live today with 110k. XQC is back after getting banned and returning for the 30th fucking time. They will never perma ban him. They no, just, they definitely they, won't. They give him too many numbers. At first, yeah. I was like, nah, they're just being nice, but no, it, it it's just the numbers. Yeah. Um, E3 recap, escaping simulation, manipulation. That one did market. horrible. Shout out to, shout out to FaZe. Shout um, out. That was a good one. Oh, yeah, the one we did, Skyline. That was that was that was, that was a good one. Innovative. Yeah. 
favorite TikTokers, Pokemon Unite, already dead game, Omega Low. Not really Omega Low. Literally dead. But it's it's not dead, but it's definitely lost its light. MMO MMO RPGs in twenty twenty one. That's interesting. I guess we were talking about World of Warcraft. New yeah, World we were. probably I'm pretty sure New World was like in beta around that mode. Whenever no, we weren't talking about New World. We were talking about Star Wars: The Old Republic. Ah, uh, well, fuck me. Rip yep, fuck X-Men's you. Favorite pastime? Who knows? That could have been. <laughs> I don't remember. I've been. <laughs> New Spider-Man, fucking awesome. Drake versus Kanye. Ah, uh, yes, that took over um, the internet for about a month. Yep. Devious licks, angelic yields, and squid squirt game. Squirt game. <laughs> And then want to become famous. Ah, uh, well, this is. I think the title is actually pretty banger. They're pretty consistent. Yeah. Thumbnails. Maybe thumbnails I should stop putting them in all caps. Do you think? Maybe if I. I honestly don't think that'll make any difference. No. If anything, I think it's better probably. Alrighty. Uh, I don't think that matters as much. I feel like the more sure. word. Uh, I guess you know. Honestly, I don't know. I'm kind of a dumbass, so. I, <laughs> I'm thinking like the more things you put in the, the, the YouTube algorithm, like the more words, the higher chance has of like, you know, reaching more areas. But at the same time, if you have a long ass title, probably no one's going to click it. So, yep. I don't know, dude, I'm trying my hardest and we, and we're literally posting weekly and we're not growing. So I don't know. I yeah, I we'll figure it out. Want to become famous. We, gotta click it. we have to click. <laughs> we have to click want to become famous next time, guys. Uh, um, we'll get free subs. Yeah. So the Valkyrie shit. What? What? Do you know what the fuck is going on? Let's do some live reporting. Yeah. Valkyrie. Ray. Valkyrie. Um. So she's trying to make some like makeup shit. Um. YouTuber Valkyrie Ray under fire for skincare line. After streamer Valkyrie's skincare line reflect drew criticism for its promises to help offset the neg- negative effects of computer light, the YouTube has ish the YouTube. I'm actually reading like somebody who doesn't know English. The YouTube had it has issued issued a statement yesterday. Valkyrie posted a voice note acknowledging the pushback and promised to answer questions in a future stream. Reflex website claims that the sun used to be the only source of blue light. But with today's technology, we're all exposed all the time. It goes on to describe how all digital screens emit blue light. Blah, 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 blah. However, the products and Reflex claim were criti- quickly criticized over a lack of scientific e- evidence. Okay, so they have nothing to back up their gamer makeup. Wow. Blue, wait, blue light from the sun. Well, okay, I... It's it's just radiation, you know. Yeah, like, I know. But back in the day, everybody they, was outside all the time, so you're an idiot. I know what they mean, idiot. but I feel like they could have, have word that. Word nah, that dude, they literally said the word. YouTube just now. So I mean, I'm not uh, even like okay, taking their well. English into consideration here. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, just get some gamer glasses, man. It's like I, I'm sure there's some clips. Of no, it's for there. makeup. Like, it's just some uh, makeup. Like I don't know what benefits oh, of it's not I oh the skin yeah because I don't think. Yeah, like how is blue light blue bad light. for your skin? Skin, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I, I I thought eyes for some reason, but yeah, no, what the fuck? Yeah, the larger the, amount the, of like, blue light comes from sunlight, not digital screens. Okay, this makes no fucking sense to me. This sounds like who so cares? You know what the hate was revolved around like what did everyone lose their mind? Over? I get, I guess it's just that you know there's it's nothing bad. backing up the claims. Yeah, essentially. Valkyrie is a dumbass. Do not quote me on that. Sorry, Valkyrie. If you Damn, want, well, if you if you want me to wear your reflect, dude, I'll I'll, I'll do it, dude. Just pay me yeah, money. Cut me, cut me a check and I'll do anything. Cut me a check, dude. If you want to collab, play oh. some Among Us, dude. Get me on there. Uh, amongst us. Imagine yeah, if I yeah. surface. Oh no. Imagine if I surface and it just has me saying "fuck you, Valkyrie." <laughs> She'll already be on the way out. Don't worry about it. It'll already be oh, over wow. with. Um, L. Well, yeah. Bozo. Fucking streamer drama. That's always the fucking best. Yep. But, uh, streamer drama. Easy clap. Yeah, I I I don't know how the fucking. I don't know. I I always thought it was weird. 
I remember seeing XQC. Uh, he he pulled up the one Kanye fucking clip. It's like iconic clip of Kanye where he's like, "Oh, uh, I love Lady Gaga songs. What the fuck does she have to do with Polaroid? And she like owns Polaroid. Which is, oh. Yeah, it's like when I think it, you know when people like branch out. Like Kanye does music, but then he made his own clothing brand. It's like they just like make their own products and shit. I I think it's not weird, but just interesting. Going to your streamer and they're like, oh yeah, now I gotta make a blend. Yep, make a blend yeah. helps with your um blue light from your monitor for some reason. <laughs> exactly. Um. Okay. Yeah. Moving on from the DGens, Tw- Twitch trials, a feature that allows the rewinding of live streams. It's your words. What the fuck is that? What is you can rewind your live stream. You don't have to click on the VOD and then rewind. You can just press rewind and do it like a YouTube video. They're trialing it right now. Dude, that's going to be sick. Wait, I, I, wait, I'm lost. I don't get it. What do you mean? You know so how of- you could press the left arrow on a YouTube video and go back oh, five yeah. seconds? Probably wait, the like same while thing. It's live or on a yeah, vlog? while it's live. That's actually huge. What the I fuck? want that. I, I actually just want that. That's so sick. YouTube's, YouTube's been doing that. Uh, so I like, know. I, I, I know. wondered why Twitch never did that. Twitch that making big moves. They're trialing it. It's not real yet, but okay. we'll see what happens. It's not real yet. I think, yeah, I think that's like a, I don't know why they never had that. I think that's one of the things that put like YouTube like up there. It seems yeah. like such a simple thing, but it like, it's actually very useful. That's why yeah. it'd be awesome. So um, you don't have to go back in the VOD and shit. Like, dude, it's I'll just be looking, I'll be too many a game steps. Watching, yeah, I'll be playing a game while watching a stream if something happens, and then I'm not even looking, and then I'm like, fuck. And then Amranch was her boobs, and I'm like, wow, what happened? <laughs> yeah, <what the> heck, <laughs> man, I'm at the farm. I gotta I, press my, my left arrow to go back. Yeah, I'm number one bit donator for what, man? <laughs> <laughs> she already deleted number the VOD. I didn't even have time. Number one gifter loses money. <laughs> um, yeah, that probably make it a lot easier for clips as well. Um, because sometimes oh yeah, you well to, if you press if you press clip, like if you you're if too you late, too late. Yeah, you're too late, and then you're like, oh, now I gotta go back in the vod. And yeah. uh, I think they do this thing where if you press clip, it saves your clip, even if you exit out the window. So it's like then you just have a random clip that has no title, and then just like. I don't know if you noticed that, but I, that shit happens. I hate those. I hate when they accidentally press clip and then there's just a clip that's. Means yeah, nothing. and then I have to go, and then I have, and I go through and delete them because I don't like my clips being clogged up with like, you know, one clip has like six different actual clips, and it's like holy fuck, bruh. Yeah. But um. Yeah. Yeah. Twitch making big moves about time. Big moves, big moves. Going back to uh, um, New World, okay, New World. If so, there was a, a apparently there was a yeah. gold duplication glitch recently, and um, so Amazon Games said they're, they're the creators of New World Amazon Games, Amazon and Games. they they said it is against their code of conduct to exploit a bug, even if you know it's not your fault that the bug was there. So say you participated in that gold exploitation, uh, bug. You are going to get banned because against their code of conduct that you did that. Damn. Isn't that ridiculous? I feel like that's pretty ridiculous. A forty dollar game. Fault. It's his fault. Jeff Bezos, yeah. even though he doesn't even own Amazon anymore. Yeah. Amazon <laughs> you're right. He's just a chairman. Amazon games though, I think that's hilarious. Amazon games. Um, yeah, dude, they're right. everything, dude. Fire. Like they made Amazon Games made a fucking uh MMO, dude. Like they're just trying to take our lives away from us. It's like it's yeah, over I, with, dude. The servers <clears throat> they have like one of the biggest like features of New World is like the giant sieges and wars that go on. Yeah. And uh I remember seeing like the first time I joined the game, uh the green side lost a fucking territory or some shit. And then uh they were all just blaming the other team for exploiting. They said there was a glitch where they like they held a point and it made them invincible. Oh yeah, there's like, an damn. invincibility glitch too. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Like holy fuck, that that's probably AIDS. 
because you know you might be thinking like oh who cares if you lose the territory you just get it back but it, the whole kind of game revolves around it like if your team has a territory you get cheaper items cheaper crafting um less taxes because you get like tax when you buy shit mm-hmm. like an in-game gold wow the fuck it is so it's like if your territory owns it you get less and you get improved shit and then you can level up the shops around you for your faction that's crazy so it's like it's actually really beneficial to uh you know win yeah. and be on the winning side so when motherfuckers are cheating oh my god that global chat it fucking it <laughs> pops off it goes fucking crazy and it's so new world's like a constant like war of attrition like there's no winner or loser like who wins um yeah there's not really winner or loser just i mean like that's the thing I mean, about you, sustainability of an mmo is just to have it keep going forever yeah i, I guess the like, what if what if green the, locked yeah. down the whole world uh then fuck them fuck everyone else you, you gotta fight back you gotta get enough guess, people uh, on that serval to fucking build up and finally win until you can own one spot the wars ha- happen pretty often so it's kind of hard, but like my server, at least green, we owned, uh, I'm in green and we own a majority. And then out of nowhere, these past couple of days, purple has been fucking shit up. And now we only own three spots before we had like six. Oh um, shit. And there's only like a total of like maybe 10 or 12, 10 areas around there. I, I'm not sure the exact number. Meanwhile, yellow has one spot in the corner of the map. It's kind of hilarious. So bad. So bad. Um, you should just go take them out. Yeah. So yeah, the green beans were getting shit on. That's Man, I kind of want that game. If only it wasn't $40. Yeah. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. And remember, donate me your paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. But yeah, you better, you better cough up the money. Donate, donate me everything you gain from your minimum wage, 9 to 5. Yeah. Exactly. You could join me and Hunter. We're like grinders. This man just leaves, like, he'll be playing fucking Madden, and I'll just be mining fucking, uh, fucking stones and shit. I'm like, no wonder you're level one so fast. You ever get ambushed? Uh, well, you can have PvP on or off. If you have an on. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So what's the point of having it on, then? Uh, because it helps your faction win territory. If you win battles and you get like XP, I'm sure. So you can just switch it on and off. So like, say you're like behind every enemy lines no. and you can just turn it, it on. To, you have to be in one of the main cities to turn it on and off. So once you're out, uh, you can just like turn it off. That's, that's okay. Kind of wow. All righty. That's cool. So if you want to, you want to turn it off, you have to return back to the motherfucking the city, and every every um every like zone or every like section of the map has one like a main so. city. How big is the map? Ginormous? Uh, you can look it up. It it actually is pretty big. And I was talking about this on stream because I tried to stream the game and holy fuck. It, if my internet was better, it'd be better. But um, the map is like... It gave me a map of the post-world, post-war world map. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh. The but the problem is the map is so it's like it's not necessarily like gigantic but it's pretty fucking big, and uh, it's it's. it's I am getting so travel. many maps right now. It's like they're all, they're all different. They're all different. I found it too. Okay, that is huge. Wow, there's a lot of mountains. Wait, is it? Wait, I'm thinking about is every sur- is every server map different? I think that's how what? it is. Every server map is different. Yeah, that's cool. I think I so. actually like that. Like, like the zones are not ever in the same spot. I think so, unless I'm fucking tripping balls. But well, I'm maybe the right zones now. change. Maybe the zones change. Yeah, I think change. the zones they they rearrange the zones so it's not like the same form like uh, layout. It's every probably time. yeah, it's probably the same map though. Yeah. You yeah, are in the, the Marauders. Woo. Yeah, there's no mounts. And that's kind of uh Oh, that sucks. Jesus. In the fast travel, there's fast travel, but like it's kind of limited. So you know, there's like two different ways to fast travel, and one of them yeah. takes currency, which you earn from doing missions. Um, but I'm afraid, like when I when I when I run out, then I'm what I'm gonna be running fucking two billion fucking meters for to turn in a quest. It's like holy shit. 
Right. Um, that's one of the only issues, like with actual gameplay. Other than that, it's just like server issues and glitches. But with the actual game itself, it's just the fast travel, no, and the lack of no mounts or anything. So it's kind of like, it's kind of aids travel sometimes. Yeah. Um, so is there a pay to win aspect to the game? I don't think so. No. Uh, the only in-game things I've seen were uh, skins. So, oh. and they don't really have that many in yet. So, I don't That's think so. I might be wrong, wrong, but no, there's no pay-to-win shit. Good. From what I've seen, yeah, good. good. Hopefully, it stays that way. And if there is, then I just sound fucking stupid right now. Yeah. Uh, I don't <laughs> think so. I looked through and I didn't see nothing. So. Pog. That's actually that's really good. I'm not yeah, gonna get because I'm pretty sure World of Warcraft uh, is pay to win, right? Probably. Probably. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next. Facebook rebranding. They want to uh, change oh, their yes. name, change Facebook. their game, oh, yeah. probably to appeal to a younger audience. Uh, I'm not really sure. But yeah. if Facebook was to change their name, what do you think it would be? Dick book. Dick book. There we go. All right, guys. That was this Ask week's episode of the Pan Pod. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Jesus. What about a hell of a way to end it? Yeah, I, I don't know, honestly. I don't fucking know. What could you even make? Uh, I literally don't know. Facebook, I mean, it's just always been Facebook. But yeah, the majority of like you know people our age and even older a little bit, most people just think Facebook is like a old people thing, which kind of is at this point. Um, it it definitely is. Most of the quote unquote like comedy you'll see on there, like the funny posts, are just like old people shit that they'll find funny. You know the funny minion post. They love those minion um, funny. Exactly. And then and then after that, after the the, the shitty funny stuff, then it's like wholesome <laughs> stuff, um, which the is usually pretty funny. cringe. And then it's just like politics, and no one. Yeah. Can, no one. I don't go on social media wanting to be like. Are you depressed? That's I wonder what my thing. boy Biden said today. Let me let me let me check my my Facebook post. Let me watch eight hours of press reviews. <laughs> yeah, let, let, me, let me go see what other people's opinions are. Cause it's gonna change what I think. <laughs> yeah, let me let me look at other people's opinions so I don't make my so own. I can form one. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's the worst way to do it. Literally the you worst way to do it. They do that shit on Twitch too. They're like, Fuck, what, dude. what does my streamer think? What what is my what is Hassan what does Hassan think? Literally just like yeah socialist uh, like <laughs> obviously biased. Yeah, that shit is uh shit is fucking brutal. I I can't like uh I can't watch Hassan. I I really I, can't. I haven't really been watching Twitch lately. I've been so fucking like busy. I'm getting really? home and I'm fucking tired. Yeah, I I I fucked straight up yesterday. I had a volleyball game yesterday. I fucked straight up. I have. I told my friend. Uh, I'll send it to you. Whenever I get it, but there's some. I think I have some videos of me spiking that motherfucker. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, pog. dude, send me those. That sounds pog. The people, the people were fucking pissed too. The people we beat. Really? Uh, they were mad. They were shit. Yeah, cause like um, I don't even know what school it was, but uh, it was funny. We whooped their ass, and they were fucking mad. I remember one time I served it. The guy missed it, and he was, and he dove for it, right? And he was on the ground. When he got up, he just fucking hit the ground. I was like, was, I and it was, black. was it another one of those like independent study schools too? Uh, I, I think so. Yeah. Oh like, my. It's always schools I've never fucking heard of, but it's not like they're like bums though. Like they're pretty good and shit most of the time. These guys not so much. The other guys, uh, I think, I don't even know who we play next, but I, I oh wait, I think we, we literally play um a fucking military school next. Oh my we're, god! We're what? Gonna we're gonna get fucked, dude. Those like, kids are delinquents, dude. You're gonna <laughs> ooh, go look at that uh, one, dude. dude. They're probably gonna be like huge though. Fucking military school kids, dude. Okay, people what get sent to military fuck? school because they're pieces of shit. Don't lie to yeah, yourself. Yeah, but they get no. That, but here's the thing: they won't if if they were they're pieces disciplined. of shit, like. They're not gonna They're let the, the shit student. They're not gonna let the shit students on the volleyball team. That's, that's like that's what I've noticed. Yeah. Because oh yeah, know, update with me GPA too. Andy's. We're all into sports. Me and X Man. X Man yeah. plays basketball and shit. I play football. We won yesterday. 
yesterday oh, yeah, when we no, had a game. I, we won. It was Pog. So here's the funny thing that I want to share is that so the team that we beat yesterday on Wednesday, they sent out a like their ASB sent out a video uh overlaid with the song Knife Talk by um oh Drake. Send that to me if you have it. And they uh yeah, I have it. And um so they so they're basically they're like fucking like California like miners from like the gold the gold like rush. So like they put they put a pickaxe oh, no. into into the front of our school's like front area. They like put it in the ground in the soil and they were like lip syncing knife talk and then they then they like had all these clips of their like football team like running and shit. And then so the next day after practice, they made their own parody of Knife Talk, made a diss track dissing the team, and then, like, dude, like, people called the cops on them while they were making the music video, and the cops got in on the music video because they were like, no, we're just making a music video. Want to join? So, like, half of the music video is just, like, them, like, hanging around the cops. The cops have their lights on. And, dude, it's so fucking sick, dude. And... We beat the ass. It was like, okay, so it was, it was 45 to 14. It was nuts, dude. It was a killing. Okay, but in that first half, well, it's kind of like outside of school, but um, yeah, it wasn't, nothing had to do with the schools. It was just the kids. But the thing that was, the thing that was funny is that, um, uh fuck what was i gonna say in the first half it was eight to 14 so it was really close like so they had eight we had 14 and then as the game went on we were fucking destroying them in the third quarter and then the fourth quarter like i didn't even get to play because all the second string kids were in so it was it was pretty sick it was a really good game especially because of all like the skin in the game with like the diss track and all that Jesus, that sounds degenerate. It was um, fun. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I was seeing a bunch of posts on, on my I snap about that because, you know, everyone, the kids go to your school. But, uh, Jesus, yeah, that's, I don't know how the fuck that happens. But they talk so much shit just to get fucked in. Yeah, good thing you whoop their ass because otherwise, fuck, they'd have been like, oh, well, shit. Yeah, dude, that was like the, I feel like, so we have a rival game coming up next week, but I feel like this was more like hyped up than the rival yeah. game because we went to, a lot of the kids that go to my high school um, went to middle school with us, like, and then the middle school splits to two high schools. Oh, so yeah. like, those are, on that school that we beat yesterday, that's like all of our friends. So it was, it was funny. It was cool. I liked it. It was a lot of fun. Wholesome, wholesome beat down football. Well, not football. Football. Football, brother. Pew pew. They count a double. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, once volleyball is over, I'm pretty sure basketball is gonna like start up immediately. I think. I'm not sure, but I'm. Just You're joining that. that. All right. Get on the ball up. Basketball is my main sport. Um, Hell yeah. Probably gonna play it after this. Actually, once we're we're done filming, getting our juice on. Which but, is uh, about right now. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, yeah. I mean, that was that was pretty uh, pretty gnarly. Got it was a good episode. In. Uh, probably gonna play some New World or some shit later tonight. I actually been playing Apex with one of my friends to school, so I'm actually you know playing Apex here and there. E. Um, so yeah, games games making a comeback. Maybe <laughs> we'll see. I don't know about that one. But uh, yeah, take it away, Panda Booty Man. All you. Well, uh, if you enjoyed today's podcast. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what your favorite color is. Um, and yeah, other than that, make sure to check out the other podcast. Make sure to check out all of our links in the description below. And to give us some love uh, over on the Twitch channels. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys next week for another great podcast. But until we see you next week, we'll see you later. Bye.